What's more fun than a Seiko tuna with a greater purpose? Welcome back to the channel for Right Time Watches here in Denver, Colorado. Today we're taking a closer look at the Seiko Tuna this year for the Save the Ocean series. I think it's a gorgeous watch, and while the Tuna case is very specific to certain people's tastes, it's a fun collector piece and something that I know a lot of people really love. Before we dig into the details on this particular model, we'll invite you to subscribe to the channel so you catch all of our upcoming videos on watches like this one. Like other Seiko Tuna models, this watch has unique proportions with a 43.2mm diameter but just a 44mm lug to lug. It's 12.6mm thick and powered by the 4R35 automatic movement from Seiko. For several years now, Seiko has been producing amazing watches under the Save the Ocean moniker. Proceeds from these watches are then donated to organizations who study and preserve the world's oceans. This model has a gorgeous deep blue dial with an amazing icy texture and of course the little penguin imprints on the left. The watch takes the form of the beloved baby tuna from Seiko and of course that makes it supremely wearable with that very short lug to lug. It also has that unique dive timing bezel that's only accessible from that 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock side. The case and bezel protector give it somewhat of a tuna can look which is where it got the nickname. Being made by Seiko, this is of course a very capable dive watch with 200 meters of water resistance, a screw down crown, a unidirectional rotating dive timing bezel, very strong loom, and of course this gorgeous flat sapphire crystal. I like this crystal, it's got a tiny beveled edge that leans in towards the bezel insert, which is made of steel in this instance. The bezel has a very nice, satisfying ratchet to it, and like I said, it's only accessible through these sides. I'm also a huge fan of this beautiful silicone strap that this watch comes on. All the Seiko silicone straps are extremely soft while being thick and durable feeling. Super flexible, extremely comfortable on the wrist, especially with this texture, which allows a little bit of extra breathability. I also really enjoy the hardware. It always feels very high quality. This one has a sealed stainless steel case back with the special edition noted down at the bottom, the Prospects logo, and an indication of the 200 meters of water resistance. Underneath is the 4R35 automatic movement, which some people like to complain about, but it helps keep this watch just over $500. The loom, of course, is a high point on this watch, with Seiko Luma Bright shining as bright as ever on this particular model. I enjoy the wearing experience of a baby tuna, though it's a bit small for my own personal tastes with my 8 inch wrist, I do think it being almost a perfect circle in diameter as well as lug to lug distance makes it very wearable and obtainable for a broad audience. I think all of the more recent Seiko Save the Ocean models have been fantastic releases. I think they're awesome special editions, with this one being a personal favorite of mine because of that colored dial. I think the texture meets the color perfectly, and it looks great. The Baby Tuna is also a fan favorite because it's got a great unisex quality to it, and I think this would be a great one to add to a collection. I hope taking a deeper look at this watch was as enjoyable for you as it was for me. I think this series from Seiko is a huge hit every time they take a new run at it. I think this one is great and maybe my favorite of the new bunch. If you'd like to purchase this watch or any of our others, please visit us online at righttime.com or give us a call. We're always happy to help. As always, thank you so much for stopping by, and we'll see you next time at Right Time.